Sketchpad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about body shaming. Is calling your baby mother body shaming? I don't get it, but we're going to get into it. Also, we're going to, we're going to touch on the Kiki Palmer uh, recent allegations or uh, things that goes on out there. So let's get into it. Just, you know, as usual, you know, shooting shit, congregating about uh, some stuff, you know, happening on social media. So the uh, Kiki Palmer thing came up, you know, me promoting the podcast and whatever and sent, telling them, you know, to check out an episode. And then uh, um, it was stated that uh, Darius, Kiki's boyfriend, Stated that uh, what she did say that is uh, she's a mother that she shouldn't be wearing that, and then it was stated from other folk within, you know, what I'm saying that that's body shaming. So we went into this whole big discussion about body shaming and this and that, and I was in disagreeing with that. There was a few other people that was in a disagreeing with that. And there was a few other people that agreed. So my opinion is that's not body shaming. You know? People, look up what body shaming is, okay? It has nothing to do with me telling another person, oh, you're the mother or you're the father or you're this or you're that of a child or whatever that you shouldn't be wet. No, that's not body shaming. What body shaming is me pointing at you saying you ugly, you know what, you got a gut, go to the gym, your face is a bucket, that's body shaming, okay? That's body shaming. That's the worst and worst of body shaming. You understand what I'm saying? That's what body shaming is. Me calling the person out for how oddly they look, disfigured or whatever, that's body shaming. I don't know where this whole idea of when a man is trying to redirect in a respectful manner and say something of whatever that it that is body shaming. I don't understand. You know what I mean? Look, I can't speak on too much on what the two parties did as far as the two celebrities, but I can speak on in general and state that that's not body shaming. You know what I mean? And we got to stop looking at social media for clarification on stuff because we're always are going to get their own version of what it is and not actually the version that we're supposed to hear. And that's how we get all mixed up. You know what I'm saying? Look it up for yourself. Google it. It will tell you what it really is. You know what I mean? I'm sick and tired of this, man. It's just weird, man. A man can't even be a man nowadays and just have some guidance or correction towards something. It's always got to be, you know what I mean, we this and we that, or our dignity is being taken away. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can't be alphas no more. Basically what it is. I'm going to put my uh, glasses on for this one. (laughs) You know, just a little bit. (laughs) Okay. So uh, let me explain something to y'all. I think they should bring body shaming back. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I man. think it should be more body shaming, especially if you're heavy set. <laughs> we need more people healthy. You need to tell people that they're fat when they're fat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, That's just the way it goes. I believe that if you have, if you're heavy set and you're out of shape, we need to body shame you to get you get you motivated to get you back in the gym. 
So you get yourself right. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe that we too nice in society. We have fell into this thing where everybody has to get along and everybody has to be uh, uh, friends when it comes to this type of stuff. No, I don't agree with that. I think we should body shame people more. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they if they unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? I think they need to get 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 right. That's just that. Now, as far as uh, body shaming when it comes to uh, the baby mother thing, a lot of people, I, I I I figured this out. A lot of people can't think for themselves. Most people, they don't think for themselves. They listen to people on the internet, and if it sounds good to them. They take it as gospel. That's just that. Most people don't do no research. Most people are lazy, what they call lazy listeners. That's it. They just take in like a sponge everything that they think sounds good to them. And if it sounds good, it's true the truth. Because it sounds like it's true. So this man telling his baby mother that she shouldn't be dressing inappropriate because she's a mother somehow that's body shaming her that sounds good to women because they'll say well that means that my baby dad can't tell me what to wear because i could just say he body shaming me that's all it is instead of them just saying you know what maybe he's wrong but see here's the hypocrisy in all this if it's if this if the shoe's on the other foot and it's a woman and let's just say the woman boyfriend is dealing with another woman that has a child. She'll say something like, oh, well, yeah, his other baby mother. Isn't that body shaming? How, how, first of all, how are you, how do you even supposed to describe somebody that has a child of yours? What are you supposed to say? You have to say your baby mother. What else are you going to say? My child's mother. It's the same thing. So this whole notion of body shaming to me is is so hypocritical and it's so stupid. It's stupid because, again, people want to have something that they can hold on to and say it's the truth when they know it's not true. That dude, he checked his baby mom because he said, even though. You know, we ain't going to get back into that. But he said, you my baby mom. You weren't supposed to be dressing like that as a mother. As a mother. I'm just be honest with y'all. And this whole thing with ownership. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be clear with y'all. And, and maybe y'all might hate me for saying this. But when you marry somebody, that's yours. And you're theirs. Period. Exactly. There's no, there's no if, ands, or buts about that. When you marry a woman, she's your property. And when and you're her property, that's that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because what's the point of you getting married if you're going to constantly still, uh, how would I say, antagonize or or tease other other sexes? It's like it's like me getting married, but I'm still taking taking pictures with my shirt off on Instagram, flexing and 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 moving around with oil on my body and all this stuff. Like, why am I doing that? Mm-hmm. So if you if you're married or if you're in a relationship that's serious. What are you still, what are you still enticing other people for? Why? I'm under the, I'm under this. I'm like this. If, if we're married, you don't, and my wife, she ain't having no social media. That's it. Unless it's her family. And guess what? You don't need to, you don't need social media to communicate with your family. You could e- easily call them or text them. And I know people might say, oh, you an asshole for that. Oh, that's stupid. I don't care. Because that's just a gateway for trouble. So if I get married, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, first of all, if I get married, my social media is going to be for my, for my work. That's it. I'm not going to have social media for, uh, uh, to in, entertain other people. No, it's for my work. If my wife ain't into that field, then she shouldn't have social media. That's it. What's the point? That's how I feel. Yo, I, uh, I 100% agree with you, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, man, y'all y'all getting the whole definition mixed up, you know? Um, I 
cannot understand why we have come to this point where we can't even voice our opinions anymore. We just have to walk on eggshells with everything. It's the same thing with the Jonah Hill situation. She called that body shaming too, and she said it was toxic. What? We didn't got what? to that. We didn't got to that point. We didn't got to that point where toxicity is kind of like anything and everything that people deem to label something. They're gonna do it, and and if they can get two people to agree with them out of a hundred, then it's, it's it's to them it's true. Because they don't, people don't look at, they don't, they look at the minority when it comes to all this stuff. They don't look at the majority. The majority makes the rule. They don't look at that. You know what I'm saying? They, they look at their experiences, be like, well, well, my experience is this and this and this and this. And be like, well, that, that's just your experience. But the majority of people don't go through that. Well, it don't matter, but I'm telling you it's true because it went, because I went through it. But like, well, just because you went through it doesn't, that just mean you're, you're an exception to the rule. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about this whole body shaming thing. People, people are just lazy. That's just that. They're just lazy. And nobody wants to yeah. do the work. That, you know what I mean? They just want to take it's the lazy. True. That's just that. It's true. It's very, very true. But hey, you know, look, the truth hurts. That's all yeah. I got to say. The truth hurts. You know yeah. what I mean? You either going to uh, accept it or not accept it. But you can't be making your own definition on stuff that's not even true. Because that's basically what you're doing. You're making your own definition. So ladies, stop doing that. Stop yeah. doing that. Be true to yourself. That's right. Yes, Pat, we out of here. <laughs>